Hey, it's me on a sunny Southern California day, Los Angeles to be specific, actually uh, Studio City to be specific. And I've been trying to get back to YouTube all week long. I filmed two videos and I haven't had time to edit them. I, here, let me take these off so, so I can look at you. I bought an eyeball. Um, I bought a ticket to Chicago and I leave tomorrow morning so I've been scrambling to tie up loose ends and do all the things that I need to do to get out of here and have peace of mind and not be freaking out because I left stuff undone. So in the vein of allowing myself a little extra grace, uh, being kind to myself, I am letting myself off the hook <laughs> for what I've recorded and not edited. And I'm recording this video to update you and let you know what's going on and that um, my the next time you see me, I will be on my way to Chicago, possibly already in Chicago, uh, and I am looking forward to that. A week or so ago, maybe two weeks ago, I told you that I bought myself two gifts at the end of radiation treatment. One was a GoPro that I broke four days after I got it, <laughs> and um, I'm only laughing now because they are replacing it. Uh, free of charge. That was very, very kind of them, and I appreciate good customer service. They really went above and beyond because they did not have to. The second gift that I was concerned that I wouldn't get before I left LA uh, is is in my hand right now. So it's just a little something. Ugh. We are opening this together. It's, it's in a jewelry box. Ooh, what did she get? What did she get? We don't know. Yeah, I'll show it to you in here. It's a tiny little ring. It's an eternity band. Here, let's see how close I can, I can get it to be. I don't know if I, how clear I can get it. It's pink morganite and rose gold. Let's see if it fits. Hey, if it fits perfectly. You know, I just felt like I needed something that I could look at and remind myself that I did it. I got through it. Um, life, life, the devil, <laughs> whoever threw some stuff at me and I'm still here by, uh, by, by God's grace, you know, because it, it could very easily have gone a different way, but I am still here, but I got through it. And, um, you know, I just wanted to have that, have, have something that I could just carry with me. And I might start doing this for accomplishments because I do believe in celebrating the wins, even the little ones, but it's hard for me sometimes when I know my goal is here. Um, it's hard for me, you know what, let me see. Okay, no, I'm fine. I'm in a bank parking lot and I thought it was crowded so I didn't want to be rude and, and be here filming while people are looking for parking spots, but it's parking spots all back there. So she can go around just like she did. Um, I'm not really good at celebrating my wins because I don't, I don't, not that I don't feel like I uh, deserve some sort of, you know, yay, you know, a girl, you did it or whatever um, from me. I'm not asking for anybody else to do that, but sometimes I don't feel like I can take the time or I didn't quite hit the mark that I set for myself. So I'll wait until I get to that point, but no, no, celebrate the wins along the way. And I'm going to start doing that more. And, um, and, and this is just a, a little, a little something that, that I, I got for myself. I bought it from a store on Etsy. I will let me see if it says it on here. It just says Etsy shop on the packaging. Okay, I'll put a link to the store where I bought it in case you like it. Um, but it's a it's a Morganite pink Morganite ring. It comes in pink and peach. Morganite does. Oh, it sparkled a little. I don't know if you caught that or not. Ding. Yeah, it's a little something. Eternity band and the stones go all the way all the way around. So it's something I'm just gonna keep with me and it fits perfectly. I had to size it myself. I bought these little plastic ring sizers from Amazon and I kept checking and double checking and, and you saw how it went on. Let's see, come off. Oh yeah, okay, it comes off 
it doesn't slide off. There's a little resistance. It's perfect, literally perfect. All right, that's what I have for you today. It was short and sweet. I hope it was sweet. <laughs> I have a trip coming up uh, after Chicago too, and I'm very excited about it. I had been trying to figure out where, where do I wanna go that I can just be on a beach in some sunshine other than LA. Cause LA, I mean, it's once it's home, it's not the same. You know, I could go to Venice Beach or Santa Monica uh, Beach or whatever, but it's not quite the same as getting away for me. I looked around at some places. At one point I was gonna travel with a friend and her sister and that fell through and just kept looking. I got some suggestions. My dad suggested Panama Beach and Destin both in Florida and to be honest <laughs> to be honest I looked but then I was like no I, I kind of don't want to be in um, in an environment where I'm, I'm gonna have to deal with with <laughs> with rednecks <laughs> and he told he told what I shouldn't say that then I, I should say I am trying to avoid I'm trying to be diplomatic here uh, Racist white people. That's what I'm trying to avoid. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be diplomatic and say I'm just trying to avoid, you know, people racial tension. No, I I I need to be um, away from racist white people, and I feel like I'm more likely to encounter them in Florida than most other places in this country. So I opted to not do that, and I poked around. I thought maybe Belize because the COVID rates are low. Even though I've had COVID and I got antibodies, I, I, I don't know. We don't know enough about this for my liking and um, I might catch it again or whatever and I don't want it again. I've done a lot of looking and I settled on a place <laughs> that you will get to go with me. Um, but I can't tell you ahead of time. You just have to go. So it'll be a surprise trip for you, all right? But I've already planned one of the activities that I'm gonna do. And I am, I, I, I can't wait, I just can't wait. Okay, well, I am out of here. I'm heading home to pack. I did laundry yesterday. Packing stresses me out because I'm meticulous about it. I don't like to check baggage unless I have to. I'll see how I feel carrying a bag through the through the uh, airport. If it's if it's too much, I will check it. But I've had my bags lost before. Um, I always got my stuff back later, but it's an inconvenient. I just rather keep my stuff with me. So I travel very light. <laughs> you know, I travel by myself. I might have to run, so I need to be able to pick up pick up whatever I got and run down the street with it. And then after a trip, anything, if I've packed something and I didn't use it, I consider that a failure. <laughs> and that I have to do better next time because it doesn't make sense to be lugging stuff all over the place that you don't even use. When I was in college and I would come home for the weekend and I would bring like six pairs of shoes and I'd come with two gigantic suitcases and stuff like that and now I ain't doing all that. So that's why packing is, it's like, I'm just, I'm, I'm meticulous about it. Enough underwear for every day, plus a few extra. Um, what else do I do? Socks inside, shoes. Try to keep it to two pairs of shoes. Definitely no more than three pairs of shoes. I try to make outfits that I can mix and match and wear each item twice. Uh, because I'll travel all over the world with one suitcase and one carry-on, one like small roller suitcase and one carry-on. And and I like it that way. But the process of packing, it, it, it gives me anxiety. <laughs> it does. I don't want to have too much and I also don't want to have too little. Now, I'm going to Chicago. Um, I can, if I forgot my deodorant or, you know, whatever it is, I can go and buy it. There's lots of stores in Chicago. I can buy what I need, but there's certain things you can, you gotta have. You gotta make sure your medication's in there. Certain toiletries, you know, if you use a certain moisturizer or whatever, uh, you might wanna have that stuff. So, so that's what stresses me out about packing. So I tend to pack and then unpack and then pack some more. And then it's, it's, uh, 
it's it's a little nuts to be honest but that's what I'm headed home to do it is 219 to 18 yes 219 now 219 p.m. on Saturday June 20 I think it's the 26th I think and tomorrow morning I am flying off into the wild blue yonder and I'm gonna land at Chicago Midway. All right, so I'll see you on the other side, okay? Mwah. Oh, I forgot to tell you, just in case you couldn't tell, I'm feeling so much better. Like, even from a, a week ago, I'm feeling so much better. Yeah, that's, that's all I can say is I'm feeling so much better and I am grateful, all right? Talk to you later. I'm going for real now. <laughs> Bye.